Praise God. Those of you on live stream, those of you on Facebook, tonight the Lord have a word for you tonight. Hallelujah. We're so grateful that we can still proclaim the word of God. So we want to welcome those of you in your home. We want to welcome those of you on Facebook. I believe the Holy Spirit is going to speak to us tonight and encourage us and bring hope to our lives, hope to our spirit. As Pastor says, there are so many things that are happening out there. But before I get into it, I want to reassure you that you can put your trust in Jesus tonight. I don't know what it is you may be dealing with tonight, what it is you may be facing with tonight, but I want you to know that we have a God that is able to handle everything that comes your way tonight. Hallelujah. When I last checked, he is still Lord. He is still God. He's still in charge. He's still in control. So we want to let you know tonight, do not be despair. Do not be troubled. Know that God is for you tonight. Hallelujah. Tonight I want to talk a little bit to encourage our spirit and build our faith. I want to talk about the possibility of God in crisis. The possibility of God in crisis. And I want to allow this word to get in your spirit. So, in between I will be repeating some of, repeating myself because I want this to get in your spirit tonight. Uh, because it's the, only the word of God will rescue us. Only the word of God will save us. So, as I said, I want to talk about the possibility of God in crisis. We are living in trouble and testing time. Hallelujah. I'm going to say that again. We are living in trouble and testing time. Hallelujah. And it seems, hallelujah, glory to God, glory to God, that everything look impossible. Hallelujah. Everything look or seems impossible. I will say it again. We're getting somewhere tonight. God wants to encourage us. We are talking about a possibility of God in crisis. I thank God that he is the Christ of the crisis. But I must bring to you the reality to show you, my God, the, the times that we live in, but we serve a God according to Ephesians 3 and 20, is still able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we could ask or think. So as I said, hallelujah, we're living in trouble and testing times where everything look or seems impossible. Hallelujah. But listen to this, my God. Take hope tonight. There, those of you that are sitting on your couch, those of you that are listening via Facebook and you're going through some tough times, some, I mean, every side of you, as you look at the left, as you look at the right, hallelujah, as you look in front of you, look at the back, it seems like there is no way out. It seems like everything is just crushing and just, you know, seems to take you out. But you forget to do one thing. You forget to look up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I got to say hallelujah all by myself because it is virtual. But you can say hallelujah in your home. As I says, hallelujah, where it seems, where it look, where everything look or seems impossible. Hallelujah. But I said tonight, I said to you in a little while that you know you may be looking at the left and the right and you're looking in the front and look but you forget to look up hallelujah oh my god when you look up my god i come to tell you that help will come 
from the Lord tonight. But listen to this. I'm encouraged. Even though they are troubled, even though, my God, uh, this seems like, you know, things are, 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 are impossible all around. Hear this child of God. Hallelujah. God is not in heaven. Hallelujah. Panicking or surprised. Hallelujah. Or troubled. Oh, glory to God. Are you hearing me? Despite of all that is happening around us and in our world, I'm going to get to, uh, to something in a minute. But hear this tonight. Get this in your spirit. Get, start to receive a hope tonight. Start to receive a faith building in your spirit. But God is not in heaven panicking. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You see, God already, you see, nothing take God by surprise. We might be surprised. We might panic. Hallelujah. We might be troubled. But oh, I drop by to tell you this Friday night, wherever you are in your house, we come to bring a word of strength to you that God is not in heaven panicking or surprised or troubled of the things that are happening around us. Hallelujah. The situations, the, the circumstances, my God, the, the challenges of life. God is not panicking. He's not surprised. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Why God is not panicking? Why God is not surprised? Hallelujah. Why God is not troubled? God is not in heaven saying, oh my God, look what is happening to my daughter. Look what is happening to the world. Look what, no, he already say, hallelujah, that perilous time shall, shall come. He already say, hallelujah, that, that many will be the affliction of the righteous, but he said he will deliver us from them all. Everything that is happening in our world, everything that is happening to you as an individual, hallelujah, Whatsoever is happening, God already knew. He's not in heaven trembling. He's not in heaven surprised. He's not in heaven troubled. But he is here to send a word to you, to let you know, hallelujah, that he is the Christ of the crisis. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because we serve a God of the possibilities and he, has, he still has the power to deal with crisis. Glory to God, because he is the Christ of the crisis tonight. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hear this child of God. God was all already, hallelujah, dealing, hallelujah, with these things before. Are you hearing me? So in everything that are happening, God was already dealing with them, hallelujah, before. Why, why you say that? Hallelujah. Well, Jesus says uh, in, in Hebrews uh, 13, um, 13, 8, he, he said that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Are you hearing me? Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, Jesus was dealing with these things before and he's dealing with them now and he's going to deal with them in the future. But I'm going to come back, come back to, to that in a minute. But as we said that God, the, the possibility of God in, the, in, in, in crisis, understand something. Right now around the world, as we deal with this situation, many governments, many, uh, uh, I mean, leaders, they're, they're, they're dealing with, this crisis of the pandemic, so many things that are happening around us. My God, it seems like government do not have the answers. My God, for the crisis, for the things that are happening in our world. My God, when you look around, you see all the different things right now. My God, there is, there, there is a, a, a clash with, with Russia and America and, and all these different things that are happening in China. There's a, a whole set of provoking that is going on. There's a whole set of crises that are happening and governments are scrambling, hallelujah, to try to deal with the 
crises that are happening in our world, but they do not have the answer. My God, I come to tell you the only one that is able to handle crisis is Jesus Christ tonight because he is the Christ of the crisis. They are running out of ideas, glory to God. They are running out of, 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 of answers, but I come to tell you tonight, God will never run out of answer. We could stand on the word of God. I come to remind you tonight that the constitution of God stands sure. Listen, the constitution of governments and, 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 and world leaders, they will fail. My God, it comes a time where, my God, they will, they will run out of solution. They will run out of answer. But I come to tell you, our government, hallelujah, which is Jesus Christ, his constitution never failed. His word never failed. There is still answer in the word of God. Hallelujah. So we see that God is able to operate even in crisis. Let me settle down a little bit. What is crisis? Crisis, my friend, hallelujah, is simply something that is out of control. Glory to God. A crisis is something, hallelujah, that is out of control or a situation, hallelujah, that is out of control. And sometimes we, we don't have the answer for it. We don't have the solution for it. Glory to God. But the Lord sent me to tell you tonight, hallelujah, that he still has the answer for every crisis. He, the word of God, is still the solution to every crisis, to every situation that you may be facing. The situation in our world, the situation right now, even in our own nation. My God, I come by to tell you, don't panic. Don't get discouraged. You are not of the kingdom of darkness. You are not of this world. You are of the kingdom of Christ. Hallelujah. And he give us a hope. He give us a future. My God, tonight, be encouraged. Don't worry what is happening, my God. We serve a God of the possibilities. Our God is still able to make all things beautiful in this time. My God, listen, listen, we always say that, 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 uh, that, that, trials, uh, situation don't last all day. Trials don't last all day, but tough people do last. And as you continue to put your trust in Jesus, my God, he's going to bring us out of this crisis because he is still the God of the possibilities. So we, we want to understand that even before Hallelujah. All these things happening. God was always dealing with these situations before. And I thank God that Hebrews says that Jesus Christ is still the same. My God, yesterday, today, forever. What Jesus actually saying, what I did in the past for you, I can do it for you now. Hallelujah. The same God that bring you out, the same God that bring us out. Hallelujah. From generation to generation, from crisis to crisis, I drop by to tell you we serve the same Jesus today that is still able to bring us out. Hallelujah. We can put our trust in him. Glory to God. David said, I will look unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who what made the heaven and the earth. Tonight I come to tell you that God is still able to bring us out. Hallelujah. Of our crisis today. So God always was dealing with with these things before, hallelujah, this time. How, how do you know that? Glory to God. Because Moses, hallelujah, with the children of Israel, they face, glory to God, some impossible situation. Glory to God. They were in some, some crisis, impossible situation. And God came true for them. Hallelujah. In Exodus, my God, 30, um, Exodus 3, 7, glory to God. The Bible says that the children of Israel, God said to Abraham, listen, um, you, 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 your seed, I'm going to give you a seed, but this seed will be in bondage. But the Lord said, 
I'm going to deliver. And the word of God tells us, we know the story, that the children of Israel, they were in bondage for 400 years, 450 years. My God, they were in a serious crisis. They were in an impossible situation. When you look the, it, w- w- what 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 crisis the children of Israel was it? They were under the taskmaster of Pharaoh, under the control of Pharaoh, and the the, the deliverance, hallelujah, the crisis every day seems impossible. It looked like they would have never come out of that struggle. It looked like they would never come out of that bondage. You could imagine, my God, to be in a crisis for 400 years, to be in an impossible situation for 450 years. But oh my God, I tell you, uh, uh, trouble don't last. That is the word I was looking for. Trouble don't last all day, but tough people do last. As long we put our trust in God, my God, these people, they continue to believe God. They continue to trust God. Hallelujah. And in Exodus 3:7, the Bible's coming. The, the Bible said that God visit Moses. Let me tell you something. The word of God said that God will rescue us in the fullness of time. We remember when we were in bondage, hallelujah, in sin. When when we when our four parents sinned and we were in bondage, and it looked like man had no hope. My God, I told I think I preached this before from, from Genesis to Malachi. It seems like man did not have any hope child of God but the Bible said in the fullness of time I come to tell you no matter what crisis we may going through no matter what impossible situation we may be facing I come to tell you that God has a timing all you got to do is wait upon him hallelujah patiently according to Psalms 37 the Bible said we must wait on the Lord and wait patiently and he will bring it to pass and the scripture said in the fullness of time my God God sent forth his son and rescue us my God from the powers and the clutches of sin the same God who deliver us from sin as we sing the song tonight hallelujah that our our, our song our, 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 our salvation turn into a song I come to tell you tonight the same God that remember us in the fall when it seems like there were no hope I come to tell you that he's still the God of the possibility in crisis and the crisis that we are facing the impossible situation that we're going through I come to tell you that God have a time in just as you rescue us in when we were in sin I come to tell you tonight that God hallelujah will come and rescue us he visit a man by the name of Moses and he said Moses listen I have heard hallelujah the cry of my people hallelujah I've seen the affliction and I've come down to deliver I come to tell you tonight It doesn't matter what you're facing. It doesn't matter what you're going through. You might be in your home and you might say, Brother Lyndon or Minister Brown, you don't know what I'm facing. You don't know the crisis. You don't know the impossible situation that I'm going through. But I drop by to tell you, my God, hallelujah, his word never fail. Hallelujah. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did yesterday, he can do today and he can continue to do forever just as he when he saw, hallelujah, the affliction and when he, hallelujah, and he heard the cry of his children, glory to God, the Bible said he come down, I come to tell you the children of Israel was in a crisis the children of Israel was in, in an impossible situation it looked like they would have never come out of bondage, you know what it is to be in a situation for 400 years, some of you, I'm not I'm not underestimating, I'm not belittling or, or devaluing what you're going through, but listen the Bible tell us that God dealt with these things before hallelujah so what we are going through is no stranger Uh, it it is not strange to God I told you God is not in heaven panicking or surprise or trouble because God dealt with that in the past glory to God he delivered his children in the past and he's able to deliver us now I want you to receive this word of God tonight because this is our only hope my God I was thinking today I said God I don't understand how the world could live without you. My God, even though we have God, sometimes we go through such attack, such depression. But thank God we have a hope, my God. We have a God that we can turn to. Not a God that have ears and cannot hear. Not a God that have hands and cannot touch. Not a God.
God that have eyes and cannot see. Hallelujah. Not a God that have ears and cannot hear. That's why he said in Jeremiah 3 and 3rd, 33 and 3, he's called upon me. Hallelujah. I come to tell you in the time of our crisis, in the time of our impossible situation, we can call upon a God that will hear us. Glory to God. Because he said to Moses, he said, Moses, I've seen the affliction. It tells me that our God, he can see glory to God. That's why Jesus said, hallelujah, when he looked over, he said, he have moved, he have touched by the feelings of our infirmity. Listen, child of God, as you're there in your house sitting down, I know we're going through a crisis now. I know you may facing some impossible situation, but I come to tell you tonight, your commander in chief, Jesus, your savior, my God, he moved with compassion. He understands. He knows what you're going through, and he's sending a word to tell you tonight. Hope in him. Trust in him. My God, believe his word tonight. And the Bible said that God came and he set the children of Israel free. So the same God that delivered the children of Israel, he can deliver you tonight because he's seen your affliction. He's seen your, my, he's hearing your cry tonight. And all you got to do is put your trust in him. I thank God that this God that we serve, my God, he know how to handle situation. He know how to handle it in the right time. Hallelujah. My God, the Bible says uh, there is nothing, hallelujah, new that is under the sun. Glory to God. So God is not in heaven panicking at what is happening. Hallelujah. Globally. Hallelujah. Internationally, even locally. My God, where government are scamping for answers. Uh, hallelujah. But God is still able, my God, to make all things possible. My God, not only Moses and the children of Israel glory to God but I remember the woman with the issue of blood the Bible tell us that she had a crisis glory to God can you hear me tonight because I'm talking about the, the, the possibility of God in crisis hallelujah this woman had a crisis my God the scripture says my God hallelujah in, 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 in Mark hallelujah 535 glory 525 the scripture says that this woman was faced with an issue hallelujah my god a lot of you're facing with issues my god she had a blood issues i don't know what kind of issue you are facing but i come to tell you my god is able to fix all kind of issues hallelujah he did it then and he can do it now and the scripture said listen we gotta speak the word of god we don't have anything else to to speak to you tonight uh, but to bring my God uh, the example of the word of God these stories uh, my God is not just a, a fairy tale uh, but these stories are truth uh, every time Jesus spoke parable a parable simply means uh, a, a story that wrapped up in a truth uh, I heard the word of God said thy word is truth hallelujah so when God is speaking uh, He's not just speaking a parable. He's not just speaking a myth. He's not just speaking something just to make us feel. But he is speaking truth. Glory to God. Because his word is truth. Hallelujah. My God. I come to tell you tonight in your living room. Make the written word become the living word in your situation. Because the Bible says that the letter kill it. But the spirit give life. Allow the word of God as you read it. In in this time of crisis, in this in time of, of where everything look or seems impossible, allow the word of God to become rhema. Allow the word of God to become the answer in your life tonight because that is why God give us his word. He did not leave us comfortless. He did not leave us defenseless, my God. Hallelujah. But we can come to his word. So the Bible says that this woman was in a crisis. She was dealing with an in possible situation but oh God tonight how I want to tell you that our God is still able my God to touch her. and the scripture says that's why I say sometimes uh, we are guilty of looking to the left uh, and looking to the right and looking in front of us uh, and looking at the back but we never take time to look up uh, even we as children of God we forget that God has given us a, 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 his word that we can draw from and the scripture
scriptures that this woman tried everything. She tried all the physician. She tried everything that she think that she could have tried. And the Bible said she grew worse. Oh my God, I could understand tonight. My God, some of you, that your situation, your crisis might grow in worse. Are you saying that God cannot handle this one? God cannot fix this one. My God, maybe I'm speaking to somebody as well. You might not be saved. You might not know Jesus Christ and you might tune in at this moment via Facebook or even via, my God, the live stream and you saying you, you're putting all the blame on God. You're saying that if God is, is holy or if God is powerful, why am I going through all these things that I'm going through? Because sometimes we leave God for last. Hallelujah. We don't put our trust in him first. We try everything. Maybe you've been trying the witches. Maybe you've been trying the horoscope. Maybe you've been trying, my God, uh, yourself and you're believing in your own self uh, and you forget to understand uh, my God that there's a God who created the heaven and the earth uh, hallelujah my God you really got to be blind uh, or foolish as the word of God said only a fool say in his heart there's no God to understand that there's a God hallelujah that created all these things and he has power to bring you out uh, and you may say you may blaming God for what is happening globally my God because government don't have the answer and you might be blaming all sort of things but I drop by to tell you do like this woman my God she was like you she tried everything she tried everything around us and the scripture said she grow worse hallelujah but my God one day she heard that the word was passing by she heard that the written that the living word was passing by hallelujah my God because the Bible says hallelujah that the word became flesh hallelujah and dwell among us my God that's why I tell you tonight uh, as you sit and you listen to me for this couple of minutes uh, I want to put this word in you allow the written word uh, to become the living word inside of you uh, and you will see uh, that your crisis uh, that your impossible situation uh, my God will come to an end uh, because God knows how to fix uh, God knows how to regulate uh, God knows how to heal uh, and the scripture says she heard about Jesus uh, and the woman said within herself if I can only only touch uh, my God and the Bible tell us uh, I want to move away from that in a minute the Bible said that she went and she touched Jesus uh, on a crisis uh, hallelujah my God our impossible situation became possible my God hallelujah so therefore you might have a prolonged uh, sickness you might have a prolonged uh, situation uh, but if you put your trust in God uh, that which look prolonged uh, where is a sickness where is a disease. My God, whether it's a demonic oppression, my God, whether it's something that is in your life that wants to bind you up, I come to tell you, just as this woman with the issue of blood, she had a prolonged sickness that lasts for 12 long years, but the Bible said, when Jesus passed by, I come to tell you, right in your living room, Jesus is passing by. All you gotta do is touch him. The songwriter says, reach out out and touch the Lord uh, as he passed by. Uh, hallelujah. You'll find at this moment, uh, he's not so busy. My God, I come to tell you just as this woman, my God was, was believing and Jesus was passing by. She said, if I can only touch. Uh, and the scripture says, uh, my God, that a prolonged sickness uh, or impossible situation uh, or crisis came to an end uh, because when you touch Jesus, uh, everything going to be all right. Hallelujah to the Lamb. But you got to trust his word. You got to believe. Hallelujah. My God that he's able to do all things. My God not only Moses and the, the woman with the issue of blood, uh, my God, but Mary, Mary was, Mary uh, was, 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 was uh, Mary experienced, uh, my God, a crisis or an impossible situation where God said to her, Mary, my God, you're highly favored. Ah, glory to God. Ah, tonight in the name of Jesus. And, and she said, and he said, Mary, you're highly favored. I want to, as it were paraphrasing, use you to bring forward a son. My God, you know in those days, Mary says, my God, in Luke, that Luke 1, 38, Mary said, how can this be? How, how can you use my womb? How can I bring forward the, a son, hallelujah, when I, I does not know a man? I come to tell you, God love, hallelujah.
hallelujah crisis God love my God to handle impossible situation my God and I can see Mary talking to the angel and saying listen this never happened before my God I come to tell you my God that things that never happened before we have a God that is able to make things that never happened before because understand something I want to just touch a little bit on the word impossible because listen to that I'm going to come back with Mary in the book of Mark this is my my foundational text the disciples Jesus was talking to his disciples and he was giving them a parable about the rich man hallelujah in Mark my God in Mark 10 27 and he was saying hallelujah to them that is easy my God for a to, for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man enter into the kingdom and the, the response of the disciple with this story that Jesus was telling them my God the disciple turned to him and said my God this is a hard saying my God well then who can be saved sometimes in our eyes sometimes in our human understanding things may look impossible because that is our perception that is our belief my God and Jesus had to turn to them and says Jesus look at them and, and answer and says with man it is impossible hallelujah but with God all things are possible even when it comes to salvation my God the disciple was saying listen my, well, then this is a hard saying who will be saved but I come to tell you that's the reason why Jesus came my God is not about you getting people saved he have the power to get people saved he have what it takes he said I'm gonna draw he said if I be lifted up he will draw and this is where I want to let you know hallelujah that the, 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 the possibility of God is able to override the impossibility of men the impossibility of government where government cannot handle and fix where your friends your brother your sister you of yourself cannot fix a situation God is able to fix it so I uh, impossible one of the definitions for impossible my God is your perception hallelujah of something that cannot happen hallelujah in your eyes in your understanding in your human capacity you look at a circumstance and in a situation and you said it can't happen I can't be healed I cannot be delivered or I, I, I whatsoever you may be going through but in the eyes of God in the sovereignty of God in the creative power of God he looked at everything and said that is possible he said with man it may be impossible with your brother with your father with the government but with me because I am the creator of all things so with me hallelujah I come to tell you that is why the scriptures say, do not put your trust in man hallelujah you gotta put your trust in God when you put your trust in God that which seems impossible that which look impossible I come to tell you tonight God has the power to make it possible my God we serve an awesome God tonight I feel like dance all by myself tonight hallelujah to the lamb glory to God somebody give God a praise here tonight hallelujah so we see that God is able to do all things and the scripture said that Mary let me finish up Mary the Lord said you will bear a son the crisis that created when the angel came to Mary and says that you're highly favored she created a crisis with her engaged husband and engaged fiance hallelujah and even to receive that which God says he wants to use her it look impossible because it never happened before hallelujah we know scientifically and how God creates things that you have to have intimacy to make a child that's why Mary said to the angel how can this be seeing that I don't know a man hallelujah but the word of God says hallelujah that the power of the highest I come to tell you tonight that the power of the highest want to sit on your situation tonight the power of the highest want to incubate my God that what you're going through that which is dead God wants to come and hoof over it and incubate it and cause it to become life tonight hallelujah but this promise this crisis could have only hallelujah be served when Mary says she finally give up she said be 
unto me according to your word. Well, tonight, whatsoever you may going through, I come to tell you, you let it be God's word that, that will fix that situation tonight. I don't know what crisis you're going through. I don't know what impossible situation you are facing tonight. Hallelujah. But God is able to set you free. Not only, hallelujah, Moses and, and, and the woman that is your blood and Mary, but Jesus himself. Uh, this is the last one I'm going to give you. Glory to God. Jesus himself. Uh, my God, in Matthew chapter 14, 13 and 12, the Bible said that Jesus was preaching. My God, and when he finished preaching, a crisis arose. Uh, hallelujah. And to the disciple, the crisis became, hallelujah, impossible. It looked impossible to them because Jesus, hallelujah, wanted to feed the 5,000 people. We understand here child of God, we understand the scripture said there were 5,000 people there plus children so philosopher says that, that there is, you know I'm just giving you this, you don't have to believe it, you could believe the 5,000 but that still is a powerful thing for Jesus to do when he meet up with that crisis. Philosopher said they actually, because if there's 5,000 plus children, hallelujah to every family, my God, it multiplied to 10,000 people. And my God, when Jesus said that, my God, the disciples said, Jesus asked them to, 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 uh, to, to feed them. And the disciples said, we do not have, hallelujah, all, even if we, we, we take out money from the treasury, there is not enough to feed all these people. But thank God, hallelujah, I told you where there's a will, there's a way. God always know how, hallelujah, to meet us at the point of our need. Thank God for that little lad that was there with two fishes and five loaves. Hallelujah. Look what Jesus did in the time of the crisis. That which does look impossible, he made it possible. Hallelujah. He took those two loaves. He took those two fishes and those five loaves and my God he, he, he blessed it he give thanks glory to God and that which will seems impossible because those 5,000 people if Jesus been send them away they were, the Bible said that he said they will faint on their way but Jesus hallelujah he's not a God hallelujah of, of, of he's not a taskmaster but he's a God of compassion and I come to tell you no matter what you're going through you might be hungry you might not have food you might, you might not able, my God, to, 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 to supply yourself just as Jesus supplied for these 5,000. My God, he is still Jehovah Jireh. He's still able to provide for you. My God, your cupboard might be empty. You mightn't have enough, but the same God that multiplied the, the, the two fishes and the five loaves, I drop by to tell you tonight that God is able to multiply your cupboard. He's able to bless your cupboard tonight. Night. Hallelujah. And the crisis that was created in the wilderness, the crisis, the impossible situation, Jesus make it possible. So tonight, I don't know what you're facing. Those of you who are listening to me, those of you in home, wholeness revival viewer, my God, some of you get frustrated. Some of you there and you're saying, oh brother, I'm hearing you, but you don't know what I'm going through. I hear David say, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Come on, I come to tell you, what you're going through is just for a moment. Hallelujah. It's just for a season. Ah, oh my God. Let me tell you, my God, it, it, these things will not last all day. God is about to bring change. I come to tell you that God is getting ready to do something wonderful. You may go into, let me just list a few things. Hallelujah. You, you may go into a crisis of your marriage. Hallelujah. And, and your marriage may look impossible. But I come to tell you tonight that God is still the able. My God. God to, to keep your marriage together. He says who God joined together. Let no man put asunder. I come to tell you hold on a little bit. Divorce is not the ah my God the answer. Ah but if you trust God. If you believe God for that marriage. He's still able to fix it. Your business may go into a crisis. Ah everything you do seems impossible. But I come to tell you Deuteronomy 28 still says my God that God is able to bless us. His blessing is still able to overtake take us. He said he will bless the work of our hands tonight. We have a God that is able to bless us in the midst of crisis. We have a God that is able to turn our impossible situation, our business and make it possible tonight. Hallelujah. My God, your children 
I don't know. You may go into a crisis with your children. Your daughter may be acting up. That son may be acting up. My God, I know what it is. Uh, my God, as a minister, sometimes I go into homes to talk to the young, the, the, the young boys and the young girls. Uh, and you might be there frustrated. My God, are you saying, God, when are you going to touch my daughter? When are you going to touch my son? Uh, just as God, hallelujah, touched the prodigal, God is able to touch your child. Hallelujah, just keep believing one day that child that daughter that son will come to themselves because we serve my God a God of the possibility hallelujah my God hallelujah your finances my God my God that, that is an area that so many people are going through challenge with their finances but our God is still able to bless the Bible said the blessings of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow my God just continue to be faithful Ah, uh, Matthew 6 33 still says as you seek first his kingdom my God and his righteousness he will add to your life as long you have the Holy Spirit my God you have everything tonight he will not leave you in lack but he will multiply that which you have tonight in the name of Jesus hallelujah God spoke to me he said some of you because of the crisis because of Dealing with impossible situation. The enemy have been placing a spirit of suicidalness on you. You want to give up. Want to take your life. But I come to tell you tonight. You didn't give life. Don't take your life. Maybe you listen to me. You're not born again. And you've been facing a whole set of stuff. And it seems like there's no way out. And all, you, the, all that the devil is telling you, take your life. Take your life. Don't do like Judas. Hallelujah. God is able to set you free. Help me, Minister Brown. Hallelujah. Psalms 30 and verse 5. Listen. It says, weeping may endure for a night, but your joy will come in the morning. This scripture, it, your joy, it might not be tomorrow. It might not be next week. But if you put your trust in God and his word, hallelujah, hallelujah, your weeping may endure for a night, but I guarantee you, hallelujah, that God will make sure that you experience joy in the morning. Trust him today. What it is that you're facing, I come to tell you, with man, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. He's still in charge. He's still in control. God has the power. He's still able to heal. I'm a living testimony. I don't care what you're going through. I've been preaching in this series and I was telling people since 2016 I've been challenged with all manner of different areas in my body. But I've learned, I walk with this Bible for a purpose. Because this is still the answer. And we got to trust God all the way. In your home, I'm whining and I'm closing. No matter what you're going through, God is able, thank you, God is able to set you free. I've seen the healing power of God. I told you, yes, I took a few medication, but I learned to pray and to seek God and to stand on his word. And my doctor told me, he says, because you know I'm a Christian, he said, whatsoever you're doing in the form of your religious aspect, he said it is working. Hallelujah. Because there is, when they could not find 
Hallelujah. What they saw before, he told me that it has to be your God that you're praying to. I come by to tell you this Friday night, the 7th of May, 2021, that our God is still the God of the possibility. Nothing. I don't care what you're going through. Hallelujah. I heard pastor always used to say that if you believe that this word is the word of God, hallelujah, glory to God, trust it, it will never fail. Man may fail, government may fail, people might not have the answer, but God have the answer for sickness, for problems, whatsoever it is, he have the answer in the midst of crisis. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, the seventh day of May 2021, the world is in chaos. The world is in panic. We see it every day on the television. And yet, Lord, men fail to trust you. But how you've raised up the church and you still make the church relevant to speak your word in a time like this that men and women across the globe will know that you are still the God of the possibilities. That you're still able to handle crisis. You're still able to turn in possible situation possible and tonight I pray for those at home those that are listening Lord local and internationally God that they will be touched they will be free they will be healed whatsoever the circumstance is whatsoever that crisis is whatsoever that impossible situation is tonight God you will show up on their behalf thank you for this platform God that somebody tonight will live again, will hope again, will believe again, will trust you again. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for touching even the members of Holiness Revival. Receive this word tonight. The Lord is showing me a young man. I'm seeing you in the spirit. You dare glue to that television you're listening and you're going through a I can literally see you you're not saved you're going through some tough times and God allow you to tune in at this moment I want to lead you to Christ and many others that are listening that you, you're not born again maybe you're backslidden God wants to bring you back life you can live is to God. I tell the, 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 the people in Arima two Saturdays ago in that crusade, that open air crusade, I said I will not trade God for nothing. I've been there, done that. I will not exchange God. I know what I'm talking about. I know where he brought me from. So I'm saying to you, this is the best life you can live. We're not offering you any false hope. We offer you life. A God life, a quality life that supersedes. Repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I heard your word. I heard that you're a God of the possibilities. I heard that nothing is too hard for you to do. You're able to make my impossible situation possible. I repent of my sins. I ask you to forgive me, to wash me in your blood, to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Lord, tonight I confess you as Lord and Savior. I renounce the world. I renounce the devil. And I now accept you, Jesus, as my Lord and my Savior. Reach me where I am tonight. Deliver me from these shackles, from these chains. And I will serve you in Jesus' name. You are free tonight. Young man, you are free. Those of you that receive Christ, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 said, Any man in Christ is a new creation. 
all things are passed away behold that word means look look and see hallelujah what he has done in me a new person may the lord bless you may the lord make his favor and his grace shine upon you may he sustain you and lift you up and know hallelujah that he's still able god bless you today in jesus name amen some very powerful anointed preaching from Brother Brown tonight I'm sure that wherever you have been, whatever you're going through, you should be very very encouraged I like that little thing about the Christ in crisis oh that is so strong, that is so powerful because indeed he is the Christ in crisis, the God with whom nothing is impossible. I'm trusting that you have been blessed tonight with the word of God and we're looking forward to seeing you on Sunday morning. No, well, not to see you. You will see us. We won't see you. But we're hoping that you would be tuning in on Sunday morning, 9 o'clock. Have your Bibles ready. I'm sure you're going to be blessed by the word of God and in the presence of the Spirit of God. So, until then, be strong, be safe, make sure, observe all the protocols, and please, please, be very, very careful. Keep your social distance and make sure that you are okay. God bless you richly. I'll see you on Sunday morning. <laughs>